Hey everyone, I'm Nick Monteforte. I'm the product manager for the Techmetric mobile app and DVIs. We've got some great new features to share with you in this May 2025 product roundup. This month, we're introducing the mobile check-in on the Techmetric mobile app, some updates to our DVIs, and also improvements to our accounts receivable credit limits. We're gonna take you all through these exciting new additions to the Techmetric product, and we're gonna have a few members of the product team jump in to share more about these features. But first, we'll jump right in uh, with the mobile check-in feature, so let's kick things off with that. All right, right into the mobile check-in feature. So on the bottom of the job board, you're gonna click scan. And you're able to scan a VIN or a license plate. So we're gonna do a barcode scan here of a VIN and a vehicle is brought up for me. Um, and I have the option to rescan or create a repair order. So let's create a repair order. We're gonna start by searching for a customer or entering a new customer. When that's all done, I can confirm the vehicles of the detail from that decoded vehicle, save that. And then I'm able to quickly create the repair order. So I can select my labor rate, uh, odometer in, marketing source, and any other customer concerns that I wanna add. And when we're done with that, we can just simply press save. And we've created a repair order for a new customer and a new vehicle in my shop. Perfect. Let's do another example. So let's scan a license plate. Sometimes you have to back up pretty far to get the whole license plate in the frame. And now we are uh, brought up with a vehicle that happens to have an appointment, but does not have a repair order um, already created. So I can look at that appointment, I can mark this appointment as arrived, and I can also create a repair order for that appointment. Let's scan another example. In this case, we scan this Porsche and um, two customers are tied to this vehicle. So I'm able to go into each one, um, see if I need to transfer that or see which one I want to start working with. And finally, if you scan um, a VIN or a plate, we can also bring up uh, if there's already an RO created for this vehicle. So you can just write um, scan and jump right into that RO. Hopefully you enjoy this efficiency um, from this feature, thanks. Hello, Nick Monteforte here. I'm the product manager at Techmetric for the mobile app and DVIs. And I'm excited to show you a much requested uh, enhancement here we have on the DVI inspection template. Um, so if we are on our inspection tab here, um, this is gonna be accessed by anyone in the employee settings that has the inspection user permission. Um, so if I go into one of these inspection templates inside my shop, we have uh, added the capability to allow you to drag and drop and reorder uh, this entire inspection. So that is everything from groups. So we have groups here um, and say, hey, I built this inspection. It's actually better um, if I want to bring this maintenance item as my first task. So I'm going to draw, drag that up there. Um, inside uh, one of these groups, I can also drag and drop the order of the tasks in there. And if I have findings that are pre-populated in the task, I can drag and drop and move those too so it's easiest uh, for my workflow and for my team. And then when I'm done, I'm just gonna simply save. So uh, this is available for uh, any users in any shops using DVIs, as well as for our Techmetric multi-shop users. Um, I think this will provide you a, a greater flexibility of building your inspections. Um, and uh, if you have any feedback, please let us know. Thanks. Hey everyone, uh, Nick Monteforte here. I'm the product manager for the mobile app and DVIs here at Techmetric. And I wanna show you an exciting new uh, enhancement we have to the DVI feature on the web app. Uh, this is called DVI Autosave. And just as the name implies, we've made an enhancement so that we are automatically saving the DVI as you progress through performing that inspection. Uh, previously, you know, if you lost your internet or refreshed the browser, uh, there's a risk of losing all that data you entered in the inspection table. And now we want to preserve that and save that data as you go. Um, so there's uh, more efficiency for you and uh, less to worry about. So let me show you how that works. I'm on an inspection right here. Uh, so if I go down to this forward report inspection, I'm going to click the edit pencil um, like normal. But basically now as I progress through performing, this DVI, uh, whether that be you know 
adding a rating, entering a finding, or adding pictures, uh, we are automatically saving uh, those entries for you. So right up top here, it's gonna show you as saved. Uh, and we're letting you know that all edits are gonna be auto-saved. So as I progress through, notifying you that uh, these line items are saved. Uh, if for whatever reason they're not saved, we'll give you an indication of that as well. And when you're done with the DVI, you can just click done um, and you're closed out of the edit state for this inspection. So hopefully you find that valuable and uh, saves you some time uh, performing your DVIs. Thanks for taking a look. Hey everybody, my name is Clayton Betts. I'm a product manager at Techmetric on the shop operations team. And today I'm gonna to go over the customer AR credit limits feature. This feature allows you to set a limit on how much a customer can have uh, as an AR balance at any given time. So for anyone that's eligible for AR, you'll now be able to set a limit on that amount. Uh, so what I wanna show you first is what it looks like when a customer has a credit limit and they've hit that credit limit. So Braun Incorporated, we've completed their work and we're gonna go post it. If I try to post to AR, you'll see that it is disabled uh, and we have a tooltip explaining why. Likewise, in the payment tab of the RO, you'll now see a banner that says the customers reached their credit limit and we have a disabled send to AR card, again, with some explanation of why. Next, I'll show you how to actually edit the credit limit for a customer. Only users with a certain permission will have access to this functionality, um, but you can see I'm in a customer profile uh, this person is eligible for AR and they've got a credit limit of 200. If I hit the edit pencil, I'll be able to go down and I can change the value of their credit limit to whatever I want and hit save and it'll be updated. If you wanna update the credit limit for more than one customer at a time, that is available through the bulk edit functionality. So for example, I just selected hundred customers. I can hit bulk update, allow AR eligibility, and I'll be able to set the credit limit for those hundred customers just with a few clicks of the button. Thanks everybody, have a good day. Thank you for tuning in to the May 2025 Product Roundup. We're always working to bring you tools that make running your shops easier and more efficient. And also please don't forget to download the Techmetric mobile app. It's a great way to not only speed up check-ins, but also to quickly perform DVIs and manage your work in progress right from your mobile device. You can find it now in the App Store or the Google Play Store. Thanks for taking a listen and we'll see you next time.